didn't approve him. You know that. You are literally the last person on earth I want to see. Hi, Hi Rachel. Rachel. How are you? It's so great, by the way. I was able to talk with you both on the red carpet premiere at South by Southwest. But oh, I'm cool. so happy to talk with you today after I've seen the movie because, wow. I mean, you liked I it. I, yeah. It's reason why I fell in love with movies is this kind of film. I couldn't oh, have loved right. it. Thank you so much. Thank you, I'm the director. We're gonna set this man on fire. You're a stunt guy. We need to keep it super profesh. Profesh is my middle name. You said your middle name was Danger. How'd we do, boss? <laughs> really? Yeah. Holster that. Yeah, it's holstered. It's done. Forget, you, you never saw it. And Emily, I love that you play a director in this film. And, you know, if you were really directing Ryan, though, in the movie, um, what would have been your notes? <laughs> Do it better. Yeah, better. Better, faster. Faster. Get through it. Faster. Faster. That'd be the... More highlights. Hey, More no. highlights. <laughs> Two, one. Action. I love that too, because we need to see more women as filmmakers, whether in reality or portrayed in this way. So I thought that was bravo. Good, me too, me too. It is such a beautiful love letter to the unsung heroes of Hollywood, the stunt community. And Ryan, I'm really curious. I mean, your own stunt guys, did they give you any like tips or insight in how to best represent them? Um, yeah, I mean, they, they sort of, you know, I, they're not really like that, right? I mean, that's the thing, they're so selfless and kind of, I mean, that's what's so fun about turning the spotlight on them. And it's been really fun to do press now, actually, too, because they're, they're getting to be interviewed. And, and uh, you know, it's always like the most interesting part of the interview when you hear their journey into stunts yeah. and the sort of what they really do is just so much more exciting. And really. also the humility yeah. of them and like how often they are like this sort of mystical part of making a movie and they, they get no credit for it. And what they do to not only make actors look cool, but just change the face of cinema is just incomparable, you know, so I think they're just not the kind of guys that are like, hey, this is what I kind of do as a <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And, they uh, knew they were in good hands. <laughs> I think no, so. No, I was in good hands. I mean, there's some really amazing stunts in this film. And of course, David Leach is a former stunt performer, so he would know, but he surrounded us with just the best of the best. And um, just records were broken in the movie. Logan Holiday breaks the Guinness World Record for most canon roles. And um, there's incredible, just, practical stunts like that aren't done very much anymore and so it was really exciting to get to um just just be a part of watching yeah. how they do it what goes into it you just you just came out of it with so much respect for their scale art form yeah. really and um just so excited to share that with everybody what happened to your face you look terrible you look amazing you fall down you get right back up how far would you go for the one that you love? This is the kind of movie that is made for the big screen. It is made, listen, I have got my jumbo popcorn. Oh, I wow. can't wait to see it again on the big screen at my favorite Galaxy Theaters. But I'm wondering for you guys, what is that movie snack that you're most likely to fall for when you go to theaters? So, I mean, popcorn's a good one for sure. <laughs> Do you guys have Maltesers in America? <laughs> Do you no, have Maltesers? Those, no, those are illegal. No, they're not no, illegal. Know, Maltesers are what are they teasing? the best. It's basically a honeycomb little ball covered in chocolate. So, but what's the te what's the tease? It's just it teases your taste buds, Ryan. I don't want to. I don't know. It's, it's mean, pretending to be chocolate, but it's really not. It's it pretends to be a little chocolate ball, but it's not. It's we don't filled have with those. honeycomb. <laughs> and if you mix that with popcorn, yeah. But what are they called? Whoppers in America. Whopper. Yes, whoppers. Uh, I like the popcorn mix. Oh, you, you know? love a candy though. Don't you? I do love a candy. A little, yeah, like a gummy like worm or something. The sour patch <laughs> sour situation, patch. <laughs> sour straw, anything sour, for sure. You have Fun. such a blockbuster on your hands. It made me smile. This is so entertaining. It beckons back to those when you would go. It was such an event to go with your friends, to go with your family, and then as soon as you see it, you want to sneak into a theater and see it again. Or go. We the next love day. you. So. We love you. Do all of our interviews. Yeah. Can you just? We'll get a third chair. Yeah. This would be great. No, but that's why we made the film. And That's you know, it. one reviewer said this film exists to make you happy. And I just couldn't say it better than that. We we, we just, every day we, we were talking happy. about, you know, what's something that we could do that would just sort of 
honor how lucky we feel to make movies and how fun it is and how fun it is to go to the movies. And so we feel like we got to marry that in this film and I'm so glad that you you felt the same. That's so cool. Later. Wanna go to a beach somewhere? Drink a spicy margarita! Make some bad decisions. Yes!